Okay. So let's compute the limit. This is tough. As x approaches, and let's approach a positive number, let's just go to 2. Okay? And let's approach from the left. And the expression that we have to find the limit of is the absolute value of x minus 2 over x minus 2. Okay. I think there's only one of these in the homework, unfortunately. Okay. So this will be a nice, nice question. This is really tough. I don't think we've done anything this hard so far in the course. So if you plug in 2, you get 0 over 0, so it doesn't work, right? So how do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of the absolute value? Um, you have to use the definition, right? So I don't know if you remember, the absolute value of x, it's a piecewise function. If you don't remember, it's okay, now you know. So it's equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and it's equal to minus x if x is less than 0. It should be an if here, but I didn't write it. It's not necessary. So it's one of those two, right? That's the actual definition of absolute value. Sure, it's the distance between x and 0, but you can think of it this way as well, OK? So we have to strategically get rid of the absolute value in this problem. So this is the absolute value of x, right? So you notice, like, so, like if, so if x is positive, the absolute value of x is equal to x, right? If x is negative, the absolute value of x would be equal to, what would it be if you use this definition? Negative x, right? So like just, just for fun, let's say, let's say you know x minus 7 is negative. Let's say you know that. Then you take the absolute value of x minus 7, what would that be here? What goes here? Negative parentheses x minus 7. So if this is negative, when you drop the absolute value, you have to put a negative sign in front of it, okay? If it's positive, you can just drop the absolute value. See how that works? So like one more, one more, I'll erase it. Say, say, say we have x plus 4 greater than 0, and you have the absolute value of x plus 4. Do you need a negative here? No, you don't. Good. What if you have x minus 20, 20? Ah. <laughs> Ah, and it's less than zero. Jeez, okay. And then you take the absolute value of x minus 20. I can't even write it. It's so weird. Do you need a negative here? Yes. Do you need parentheses? Yes. Very important. Good. Okay, so now I think, now I think we can do this problem. Okay? So this is going to help you. There's a couple of ways to explain it. I think that might be better than what I was going to do. Um, so that, that's really efficient. Right? That's how I do it. Okay, so now let's do this problem. So solution. So we're approaching 2 from the left. So I like to draw a picture because I love pictures. So this is 2. And we're coming from the left. So here's x, and it's traveling this way, right? It's going to 2 from the left. So that means that x, is x bigger than 2 or is it less than 2 based off this picture? Less than 2. So I'm going to write that down. So you draw the picture. You plot the number. You draw Whenever you have an absolute value, like this, and a limit, a one-sided limit. The way I always do it is I draw a little picture, figure out which way it's going, create the inequality, and now watch this. You can subtract 2. So you get x minus 2 less than 0. It's beautiful. This is, this is, this is like, this is math. This is amazing. I love this problem. It's so beautiful. And now look, now we can do the problem because this is the limit. As x approaches 2 from the left, and then now we can replace the absolute value, right? Do we need a plus or a minus up here? A minus. Oh, you get it! Yes! Oh my god, yes! This is super, most people do not get, this is like really tough. And then we have this down here. So if it was greater than zero, it's just a plus. Hardcore, this is hard, this is tough. This is tough. I sat in once on another teacher's class, calculus teacher. She's really good, really good teacher. She doesn't teach here anymore. And uh, she was doing stuff like this. And she didn't, she didn't do this. And I felt like, yeah, she doesn't do it, but I do it. Like, I felt good. Uh, but she did like 20 examples. So we do like two, so trade off, right? She would, make, she would make them do it like with intuition. And you can draw a picture too. You can draw the graph and you can do it that way as well. But it's, it's a good skill to have. What, ah, they cancel. So this is going to be, I don't know what I'm doing. It's not negative one. It's just a negative sign. What does this become when they cancel? What number do you get here? Negative one. Yeah. I'm going to put it in parentheses just because it looks better. Just That's really ugly. It's too late. 
right. Gets better. And then you're taking the limit as x approaches negative, as x approaches 2 from the left. So you just get negative 1, right? Because you plug it in, there's nothing to plug in there, and that's the answer. That's the answer.